You all know the book Think and Grow Rich by uh, Napoleon Hill, but this is a different one. This it's not really different. It's the same book, but it's Think and Grow Rich, The Black Choice. You see, inside of this book, I love is it sticks with the same principles of Napoleon Hill's book. But what I love about this is Dennis Kimbrough uh, came in with Napoleon Hill and said, hey, um, I want to I want to add some flavor to it. You know, that the, the, this this book is so powerful because Kimbrough took the philosophies of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and created a version specifically for black people. It's full of stories of black people who became successful in spite of discrimination, racism, poverty, and limited opportunities. Okay. He studied how these people built wealth within the context of the black experience. And I think that's very, very important because no disrespect to my white people who teach and who do, who are watching this, but sometimes you only relate to your experience when unfortunately your experience may not relate to someone who looks like me. And sometimes I need to see someone like me who can relate to my experiences and vice versa. When we're te teaching in the black community, we need to make sure that as we're teaching, not only are we relatable to the black culture, but also white people can at least somewhat understand. And that's what I love about this book. It doesn't get away from all white teachings and there's nothing wrong with white teachings. I may sound off when I say that, but yeah, I like this better. It doesn't get away from all of the white experiences, but it includes black experiences, black faces, black families. And sometimes I think black people, we struggle because we don't, ex we don't see the experience. We don't see what we go through. We don't see what we look like. We don't see someone who actually resembles us. And in this book, he offers his observation and evidence-based advice on how all black people can be wealthy. How all black people, hear me, my brothers and sisters, um, how all black people can build wealth. Racism is a hurdle, but it's not stopping us. Poverty, redlining hurt us tremendously, but it's not stopping us today. Limited opportunities, specific people could slow us down, but they can't stop us. As a black man who is committed to building generational wealth for my family, this book really hit home. I have read this book at least two or three times. Kimbrough doesn't shy away from the fact that black people were intentionally left out of most wealth building opportunities in America. I'm going to be real, but he doesn't stop there. He uses these testimonies of successful black people to prove that we can defy the odds and generate wealth for ourselves and for our communities. Because at the end of the day, it is up to us. We can either let our circumstances define us or we can adjust our mindset in order to define our circumstances. So listen, this book is a great book. I love both versions of this book. I actually loved reading Napoleon Hills. I'll never forget when I was in uh, prepaid legal um, in my early 20s on the network marketing company. That was the book that you had to read. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, and How to Win Friends and Influence People by how to win friend, how to win friends um, and influence people by Dale Carnegie. Um, and then when this book, I saw that this book was available, the black choice, man, I was honestly, I would have read this better because I probably would have read this quicker. It took me about a good four months to read um, uh, the original book, which was a great read, but I probably would have got through this in two weeks. Why? My man looks like me. And the stories in here, I can relate to. I can't relate to all of them, but I can relate to it. And the stories that I couldn't relate to, when I started talking to my friends and started talking to like my parents and, and some of my mentors, they could, they could relate to that. Then they broke it down even better for me. So listen, I'm giving away all of these books, okay? 
You got five. Okay. Five books. And these are coming as a set. If you want to start reading, if you want to join me um, in, in improving our brains and growing our mind, and you want one of these, text the number right now, 615-930-3431. And I am going to send you, um, whoever, whoever texts me the title of the book and just two or three sentences on why they believe one of these books will impact their lives. My team is going to check that phone and we are going to let you know if you want. We'll ask you for a mailing address and we'll put this in the mail to you. Also with another little gift for myself um, because I really want to help you all win and succeed and accomplish all of your goals. And I believe these books will. For everyone else who do not win, I want you to go over to short form, sign up for a five-day uh, trial Go and read all of these um, short summaries and see which book you want to purchase. And let's say, you know what? Let's say if, for an example, you don't really have the money to purchase them. Um, well, hey, get the um, extended uh, version summary uh, from short form and learn right there on your phone, on your iPad or on your computer. Don't forget, short form information is in the show description. I promise you right now, you're going to love it. Yo, it's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. Thank you so much for rocking with me. And I'm going to see you on the next show. But wait, before we go, before we go, before we go, before we go, before we go. All right. Um, I want to give you a quick, I wrote this down. I was about to sit here and move. I want to give you a quick financial tip of the week um, that I actually learned from Think and Grow Rich. Okay. This week's financial tip comes from Think and Grow Rich, a black choice by Dennis Crimbro and Napoleon Hill. Knowing how to make a budget, pay off debt, and invest all are important, but you have to have the right mindset. If you're truly going to build wealth, believing that you can have more than pursuing the knowledge to acquire more is key to success. Kimbro wrote inside of Think and Grow Rich, the skills of living successfully are acquired through knowledge, reading. Knowledge is available to each of us and when properly applied is power. Let me say this again. The skills of living successfully are acquired through knowledge. Knowledge is available to all of us and when properly applied, that's power. If you really and truly want to build wealth, then check your mindset. Believe that you can, then commit to learning. One of the key ingredients to building wealth is knowledge. When you have knowledge, and when you apply that knowledge properly, that's when you have power. That's when we can honestly accomplish the things we want to accomplish. And watch this, when we have power, we can pass some of this power down to our family members. We can pass some of this power down to our kids. We can give some of this power to our friends and family. We can give some of this influence and some of this impact to our community. When we have power, by the way, of knowledge, we can change and impact the culture, the community, our career fields, our family, our friends, ourselves. And I don't know about you, that's what I really get excited about when it comes to building true wealth. Because wealth is not just also about money, but it's also about what knowledge are you passing down? What knowledge are you taking into the next season to make that next season of your life even better? So I want to leave with today's scripture. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 15. The mind of the prudent acquires knowledge. And the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. Today's affirmation. I am committed to becoming everything. Woo, everything that God has called me to be. I'm going to say it one more time. I am committed. Say it with me. Say it with me. Type it. Uh, if you're watching this live on YouTube right now, type it in the, uh, on the chat. Or if you're not watching it live, hey, listen, go in there and type it in the comments. If you're saying this, if you're watching this or listening to this via podcast, say it with me. I am committed to becoming everything. Say everything again. Everything 
that God has called me to be. Woohoo!